three, two, and one. Slowly bring your knees down. And one more time like this. And just this time, I'm going to count from 10 to 1. With 10 counts, I want you to do a really quick one that you can do. So just do it together. <laughs> Since you are welcome to Pilates with Henna and welcome to day 26 of the 30 days of Pilates self journey. Today we are going to do a workout of your choice. Again, that means you can pick whatever you want. You can go swimming, you can go working, or you can just go to do a barrel class or whatever you can think of your mind and it's convenient for you. Or if you decide to join me for this workout today, I'm going to do a cardio, very quick 10 minutes cardio Pilates workout to help you with some fat loss or, or even just like maintain weight. So if you're ready, just roll your mat and let's begin. Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to come to own pole position. Open your arms, shoulders apart and your legs a bit apart. Pull the belly button in, shoulders far away from your ears and eyes on the elbow. Rotate to face each other. Now lift your knees up and then bring it down and as much as you can, as quick as you can in 10, 9, 8, 7. Do it with your own speed but I want you to do it quicker than normal and then start to try to go a little bit even quicker. So 5, 4, three two and one slowly bring your knees down and one more time like this and just this time i'm going to count from 10 to 1 with 10 counts i want you to do a really quick one that you can do so just do it together and lift your knees up and bring it down 10 9 8 7 6 pull the belly button in inhale deeply to your nose and three two and one slowly bring your knees down come to try pose here Shake your hips a little bit, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and allow yourself to come to lie all the way down on your back. Bring your legs up to 90 degrees, one feet distant from your chin to your chest. Open your arms and support your head. Open your elbows wider, shoulders far away from your ears. Now inhale and I want you to lengthen your legs to the front and start to bring your legs down and up at the same time. Now stick your lower back down to the mat, pull the belly button in. I want you to inhale, shoulders far away from your ears and start to bring your legs down and up. Try to do as much as you can but try to stabilize your hips at the same time. Now if you want to make it easier, bend your knees to 90 degrees and keep doing it with your own breath. Really engage your core and shoulders far away from your ears here. Very good. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Come back. Open your elbows wider. And keep breathing here with your own breath. Inhale and exhale and slowly bring your legs down. Hug your knees to your chest. Now lengthen both legs to the front again. Arms along your body. Now start to pump in your whole arms here. Make sure you keep your back in neutral position. If you want more challenge, lower your legs a little bit, but make sure you still keep your back in neutral position. Now, if you want to feel your six back abs more, just lift your head up and make sure you keep one fist distant from your chin to your chest. So keep breathing. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. Keep breathing. Really stick your lower back down, engage your core as much as possible, squeeze in the thighs and try to lengthen your legs all the way towards the front. Keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale. And slowly bring your head down, your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, now I want you to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees again, open your arms to the side. Now pull the belly button in and start to bring your legs down to the mat and then come back. Make sure you keep the same angle on your knees. So bring your legs back with control, press your hip bones down, pull the belly button in and really engage your core here. Now try to go a little bit quicker if you can, but really listen to your body and make sure you don't arch your back. You can always make it easier for your core by just walking your legs quick, each leg at a time. And then slowly come back. I feel like I want to challenge myself today, so I just do both legs at a time. Now really stabilize your hips and your back here. Stick your back down to the mat, engage your core. Press your whole arms and shoulder blades down to the mat. Keep breathing, inhale. And exhale, come back. And a couple more times here. Now inhale 
and exhale come back squeeze in the thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscles here try to go a little bit further and then come back and slowly hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right now lengthen your leg up and lengthen the other leg to the front and when you inhale slide your hands up to your ankle and lift your head and shoulder off the mat now you can always use your hand to hug your thighs if it's easier for you and start to switch to the other side engage your core stick your lower back down exhale every time when you switch exhale and come back very good keep breathing pull the belly button in and do it with your own breath try to use your breath to control the movement and couple more times here inhale and exhale go a little bit quicker if you can beautiful and three two and last one and slowly the very last one and slowly bring your knees down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to lean on one side to sit up now lengthen your legs activate your feet bring your hands behind your hips and soften your elbows here now pull the belly button in soften your elbows and try to lift your hips as high as you can and start to lift your legs and start to walk your feet into the center now open and then come back if you want to make it easier just bend your knees and press your whole feet down start to walk shoulders far away from your ears and pull the belly button in engage your core as much as possible and try to always keep your back lengthening here keep breathing inhale and exhale go a little bit quicker if you can quick 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 and three two and one slowly bring your hips down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready lengthen your legs now activate your feet dorsiflex with your feet here now lengthen your spine open your arms to the sides and shoulders down inhale deeply rotate to one side and flex forward to your opposite ankle and then come back and we're doing the saw here so keep breathing inhale and exhale come back so every time you flex your spine make sure you exhale so it's easier for your core engaged here keep breathing press your sitting bones down your legs are not moving and now go a little bit further exhale when we come back to the other side go a little bit further if you can and then come back to the other side and last one inhale and slowly rotate your shoulders and reverse now i wanted to allow yourself to inhale deeply through your nose and lengthen your spine exhale deeply through your mouth and then activate your feet bring your hands behind your hips again soften your elbows and you can bring your forearms all the way down to the mat shoulders far away from your ears now start to bend your knees press your feet down and lift your hips as high as you can engage your core as much as possible make sure you keep the chin to the chest and look towards the front don't pull your chin up to the ceiling because it's gonna cause a lot of pressure on your neck and we don't want that so keep breathing inhale and press your feet down press your whole forearm down again chest up hips up and down try to do as quick as you can so keep breathing here beautiful inhale and exhale and a couple more times with your own breath try to go a little bit further if you can squeeze your booty squeeze in the thighs inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth very good and slowly bring your hips down light all the way down on your back hug your knees to your chest keep breathing and then exhale all right now the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to lean on one side slowly to sitting position now cross your leg lengthen your spine and then slightly engage your core shoulders down i wanted to inhale bring your head to one side try to depress your opposite shoulder and come to the other side stretch your neck a little bit here and back to the center one more time to the other side and back to the center all right and one more start to rotate your head around your neck slowly two rounds in total and then reverse inhale halfway exhale halfway and slowly with your own breath and back to the center now start to rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse still lengthen your spine now interlace your fingers here reach your arms to the front 
and then come back, reach and then bring it back, stretch your shoulders and start to rotate your arms from left to right, lengthen your spine and lift your arms up and down to the right to the left and then lift and down and to the other side, keep breathing, inhale and exhale, start to bring it, keep your arms parallel to the floor when you bring it to the front and slowly engage your core, still lengthen your spine here very good keep breathing and last one and slowly bring it down rotate your wrist and slowly bring your hands on your knees lengthen your spine inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and that's the work us for today thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed and i'm going to see you tomorrow on day 27.